We got to switch a switch. Let's go. Hey, it's me, Tankers from PC Boosting. We are swapping out our office switch. Um, it's been having issues, and the way we troubleshot that is, so Space and Chili were playing Rocket League. Space was hardwired, however, Chili was on the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi was working just fine, but the office computers were dropping out. So that's what made us think that it was a switch. Now we're swapping out with an eight port gigabit switch. Yeah, you can see the ports right there. And uh, the thing about it, this is a switch, it's not a router. So when we change the plugs, only when we, I mean, when we pull out the ethernet cables. Um, they don't have to go in a specific order. Right, they don't have to go in the same one. They can go, they, you don't have to put it back like number three was in number three or four and four or whatever. You can move all around, these switches are smart. Um, what What is important though is- Is the power adapter. You never want to mix them up because they can be different voltages. These are what, AC to DC, right? Yeah, AC to DC, they play on the wall. So. Yeah. And but but different manufacturers can use different voltages, and it will or even different currents won't make it work properly. But the different voltage will fry it. I've done it. Yes. Don't be tempted if the plug put it down real quick. Let's see. Even if it fits. Even if it looks like it's gonna fit, don't do it. Don't don't be lazy. Don't risk it. Yeah, don't risk it. And go ahead and uh, run the new one that came with the box. Let's see the box real quick. What do we what do we get? It's a TP link. We got a TP link. It's only like ten bucks on Amazon. Eight port gigabit. So that's really cool. That's amazing how cheap those are now. So yeah, whenever you're you know dealing with these, they have clips on them. These uh, Ethernet cables, a little clip. So you won't be able to pull it out unless you release that clip. And sometimes they have plastic over it, makes it a little hard to get out. Make sure you uh, depress that. So big thing is run the new AC adapter that comes with the new router. Or, or switch. No router switch. Yeah, routers will have a specific WAN port typically where that connects to the uh, the internet, the outside world. Uh, it'll be a different color or whatever. Um, and and then they'll have their own switch built in. But this is a just a switch. So it's only 10 bucks. Um, all right, well, let's let's go put it in. Yep. They have clips on them. Uh, you have to, but don't drop them. But... Like which one? All of them? All of them, but don't drop them. They have clips on the top, there you go. I do you have to hold it in one hand and keep working. Okay, go good. There you go. She's got it. Ah. Ah. These are hard. I know. You can do it, though. You can do it. There you go. Okay. Keep it going. She's doing great. Got it. All right. So then, Tanker, where's the new switch? Here it is. Look up into this one. This is always a mess behind computers. <laughs> Good to, to, to about Okay, um, does it matter which ones they go into? Nope, it does not. This is a switch. Wait, it goes in this one? Yeah, just start putting them in. Sometimes those individual no. ports go bad. Oh, my hand. Here. That way. Oh my gosh, it takes three people to put on a network switch. This is hilarious. I can't do it. It doesn't. Do it. You know, shadows, it's okay. Start plugging them in. I'm trying. Uh oh. Oops. Fran is turning on. <laughs> <laughs> go, Chili Bot, go. Last one. You did good. That's the, that's the printer. We have a network printer down here. Okay, now this one. Oh. Power. Can you see it? Tilt it up so I can see it. Thank you. There. Yeah, Why is the computer blanking out? No, it's just a all right, we did it. Look at me. Good job, Chili Bob. Mm -hmm. So this is a cool little switch. It um, it's a power button. yeah, the power indicator on the little front, and then the the, the network ports. Oh my god, they blink on the back side, which is unusual. Usually they're on the front side. But if you ever suspect you have a dead port or something, that'll be black or dark. Just off. off. Okay, so we swapped out the switch. Now, this power, you don't want to get the power mixed up. So you just want to wrap it around, but not too tight. And if it is loose, you can get a rubber band and then just kind of put it over it to keep it down. Because you'll end up with 10 of these and the cords will be all mixed up and you won't know which goes to which. And so once we prove though, that this was the issue, we will then throw this away. We'll recycle it, we'll do what yeah. we can. There's some places that we'll take them just for 
open them up and have parts, whatever. We will dispose of it. <laughs> dispose of it properly. Yeah, because we do not want it to somehow end up in a land party or something and cause problems down the road. Right? Yeah. Thanks. Keep on boosting. Okay, so you saw that we did it. Um, I think it's gonna work. The only way to test it is just long-term testing to see if it holds up. Okay, so we swapped at the switch. We're still having the same problem though. Uh, it's just a wall plug. So we're going to fix that, but we have a spare switch. Later.